So we're using our our plans to uh, to find our lengths on the frame, but because this hugs the shape of the hull, we can't quite measure linear length. So we're using a pair of dividers to measure from our shear point, hugging along the keel down to where the frame hits the keel. And the reason we're doing this is because we need the bevels on the bottom of the frame where it hits the keel because we're steam bending them inside the hull and that needs to come all the way down. If we didn't put this bevel on, it would come square and we'd have a big gap down at the keel. So I essentially count the number of times I place my divider. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven plus three inches. And I come to my frame and because the S-boat has frame heads that are always one inch square, and these frames are tapered, I find the point at which it's one inch, make my mark, and I measure down from that point. I've already laid this one out, so I get my bevel where essentially the frame comes down and intersects the keel. I take that and I apply it to my frame, which is essentially this, and it will be bent to this shape. Another important aspect of these frames is that we've chosen to bevel the frame to the floor timber. In some cases you bevel the frame to planking, but we've chosen to bevel to floor timber. So after I have my marks on here, I can lay my floor timber on here and determine where that point will end. In this case, it's on the opposite side of the frame because in the aft section of the boat, the frames are on the aft side of the timber. So I've beveled it on this side here already and using my bevel board for 23, I've determined how much I need to bevel it. So I've essentially taken that bevel from where it hits the keel up to the point where it will end on the floor timber, which is to about right here. And then I've taken that bevel and I've rolled out of it back to square on the frame. 